Hey guys, um, I got a request to do um, a video about the, how the helmet cams mounts on um, the mask, uh, specifically the i4, which is what I've been using. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, try to keep it short and simple and answer all the questions you might have. Let me see. More light. Alright, so I have an i4 mask here. Um, it currently has um, a goggle cover on it by cgcovers.com I'll put a shameless link right here so if you want to check out the cool predators gas masks, skulls, they've got all sorts of stuff but I can peel that back um, I have a zip tied on here and I'm not going to cut the zip ties but I just there's my i4 underneath the mask so you can see it is an, an i4 um, the um, the i4 kit that I got came with two mounting systems. It came with this small uh, adhesive clip that you could put on a helmet. You peel this off, stick it on a helmet, and then the um, oh, where we go here. The actual mounting clip um, then goes on the uh, into that. So here's the mounting clip. So you slide the camera on here. This would be glued onto your, your helmet if you wore um, an army helmet, for instance, and then you would just fasten it on there and slide the camera on. Um, but luckily, you should also get a uh, goggle strap mount like this. I don't know if you can see. I'll let the light adjust a little bit. So goggle strap mount. Uh, has a little arrow on it. Oh, boy. Let's see here. Where are you going to be able to see the light? Yeah, so you can see that arrow. That arrow goes down. Um, so take that arrow, pointing down. Take the mask of your I4. I wear mine um, opposite my shooting arm because the hopper tends to get in the way uh, if you wear it the other way. Sometimes it's difficult because if I'm hiding behind a tree, you just see the tree. But um, for the most part, it seems to work out okay. So take it. And you just fit it over. You fit the goggle strap into inside of it, so it should just slide right in like this. So mm, light, light, light. Film school 101, all that jazz. Um, so it fits on right like this. Then you take your mounting clip and you put that on. You pull this tab down. There's a tab here. Push that down a little bit and just slide the mounting tab in. <laughs> Top side first and then the bottom side. So I'll do that again one more time. Pull this tab down. Slide the upper edge of this up there and then lock it in. Like that. Now, I lent the camera to a friend, and he tried to take it off, um, and he pulled it off and broke the holding clips, so I have jury rigged mine, but normally you'd have um, two sliding rails right here, you can see the holes where they used to be, and you have two slots on the i4 right here, and you would slide the rails into those slots. Mine doesn't quite work that way anymore, so I've devised a high-tech, state-of-the-art zip tie system, so... In effect, <clears throat> imagine now I'm sliding them on. I got them in the same place as before. But, so I put on one zip tie here in the front, and then I have a second zip tie I put on the back of the camera. A zip ties are a good idea, too. Um, you come with this, it comes with this little clip here, this little string clip, so that you can... Um, Part of it's attached to the holding mount, and part of it's attached to the camera. So you clip that together, and then if your camera pops off, you're not going to lose it. Um, but zip ties are always good, too, because then the camera's not going to go anywhere. Um, I got adjustable zip ties, so I don't have to cut them every time. Just put them on and crank them down, like this. <clears throat> yeah. And it holds it on there um, nice and tight. And that's the way we like it. Um, so now your camera's mounted on your helmet, on your mask like this. Um, then you're going to put it on.
and if you notice if you notice the camera cants a little to the side um, this I think is more problematic with the i4 mask I mean it's a great mask but um, it is a smaller mask it doesn't extend all the way back the hard shell doesn't extend as far back if you use um, I was using a JT mask a little harder shell and that shell stays straight so when you have the camera on the side um, the camera is pointing straight ahead of you with the i4s the mask stops and there's no rear shell so the camera strap which is tight to your head sort of pulls the camera back and shoots it off at an angle um, but this is not a problem you just get the um, camera mounting pad as close to the i4 the actual mask as you can um, uh, here just s let me see fucking predator dreads so get it as far forward towards the mask as you can on the actual goggle strap um, and then once it's on your head, take a little rag, um, a little piece of cloth, something, and just put it behind the back half of the camera. And this will serve to push out the camera, the, the rear part of the camera, so that it's um, facing forward. So if it's canted to the side, you put the cloth or pad just under the mask, and it will push it and center it for you. Um, and this should solve your problems if you have that problem. You're going to want to put it on, record some footage, and then go back, load it in your computer, and see what's up. Um, if you don't have that problem, there's no need. And as far as um, uh, discomfort, I really don't have any problems. I have some old microfiber uh, handkerchiefs, and I just fold them up and put them behind the back half. Um, you don't want to put it behind the whole thing because then you'll just make the problem worse. It will, If it's like this, it'll push it out even more. Uh, make sure you just put it behind the back, and then you'll recenter the camera. Sorry with the confusion here; it's a mirrored image. So, um, so that's my um, mounting system for the Contour HD on the i4. I hope that answered your questions. And if you have any more, um, just shoot me uh, an email. And if you're from Contour and you see this and you want to send me a new mounting clip, that'd be great because I don't know where to buy them in Sweden, um, and I'm gonna be here for six more months. So. Send me an email, Contour. Send me an email. And a new mounting clip. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I was sick this weekend. I didn't get to go out to AC Paintball. But uh, the Kill House tournament went down at Hornet's Nest. And um, there's footage from that going up. So check that out. Um, the next upcoming game I know about is uh, Strategy Plus Russian Front in the USA. Um, Tackleberry and Dave Celia are leading the Germans against the West Point Cadets on the Russian side. It's going to be... It's usually a pretty cold day, but it's always a good time. Go out, test your guns in the cold, and get the season started. Um, that's all I got. Everyone have a good night, and uh, talk to you later. Peace.